All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Pebcac Saturn Parts mod, which is being made by forum user Curled. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a series of parts to build some of a Saturn V rocket. Now I say some because this is definitely not a mod looking to recreate the entirety of the Saturn V rocket. If you are looking for that, don't worry, there are of course plenty of other mods out there that do handle that sort of a thing, including of course Blue Dog Design Bureau. But what Pepcac is really focusing in on in this particular mod is just a certain section of the Saturn V rocket, and that is the the engines and the engine fairings. And I actually quite like this, as for me personally, usually with a lot of mods, my favorite parts in them are the engines and the engine fairings. They tend to be really cool parts. And so just having this mod focusing on that you know, kind of makes me happy. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a gander at what all this does add in. So let's start by grabbing a Mark 1-2 command pod and um, <laughs> actually use my mod filters today so we don't have a repeat of what I accidentally did on the last episode. Let us never speak of it again. And then, of course, move my capsule up, 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 up a bit because, well, the first part we're going to look at here is big. In fact, I need to zoom out further further and there we go and the first part is down here in engines and it is the Saturn SIC booster and this Ha boy, is a beautiful part I really do love this thing as it is freaking gigantic that is a 6.375 meter rocket part it's big it's gigantic and it's gorgeous, and I love this thing. Now, overall, it is, of course, a gigantic liquid fuel tank holding 31,500 liquid fuel and 38,500 oxidizer. But as you can see, it also has 50 solid fuel, as it does have some built-in boosters down here to help it more easily and safely separate from the rest of your rocket. So once this stage is completely spent, you will, you know, go to the next stage. Stage, these rockets will fire producing 826 kilonewtons of thrust in atmosphere or 930 in vacuum and it will separate away nicely and it is pretty cool and overall just a beautifully made part very nice design to it very good modeling very good texturing and of course quite useful because it holds five engines on the bottom if we do actually go down here we may actually need to zoom in because well we're going to be putting the engines down here as well and um yeah the engines actually get a little bit confusing as uh well this does hold five engines as you can see right there we have five attachment points for those but we have four engines in this category and that's because, well, we actually have two different sizes of parts in this mod. Now, this Saturn SIC booster is one size and one size only, and that is the sort of full size that goes with these two particular rocket engines. We then have two that are for a miniature version of just the bottom fairing bit here, which we'll look at momentarily. That is in the 2.5 meter size variety. So you can build sort of a smaller version of this. And these engines go with that. Now for this full scale one, we have two engines because we have one that goes directly in the center, the Pebcac F1 center. And that goes right there and it is purely just an engine to blow out some good thrust. It has no gimbling on it whatsoever and will produce a maximum of 1776 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum with an engine ISP in atmosphere of 263 and in vacuum of 304 and is a pretty awesome engine. Again, beautiful modeling, 
beautiful texturing, a very cool part. And as you can see, the different bits of it fall in quite nicely into the various detail parts on the fairing down here. Uh, these bits going into this uh, sort of oval bit there. We got those pipes going into there. It is very cool, very well built. And then we have just the regular Pebcac F1s, which have the same stats, you know, thrust-wise, etc. But they also have gimbling, which we did not have on the center one. And so we can pop these on, and we'll actually need to uh, rotate that two clicks. There we go. So it also fits into its slot nicely. And of course, if we just go to the four symmetry there, uh, bam, we got them all in there, and it will produce quite a lot of power. And actually, this whole thing will get into space very easily on its own with no problems whatsoever. And it's just a gorgeous, gigantic part with some gorgeous, gigantic engines. How could you not love that? Now, uh, next, if we actually just sort of go up here, we'll sort of build off from the rest. We have nothing in command, and, and then we have the two fairing bits or just in structural. Now again, we have the, oh no, I wanted to show off this one first. We have the full size, a 6.375 meter one. So if you don't want the gigantic fuel tank and you just want the engine bits at the bottom, you can go that route. And of course, this also does have the solid fuel engines. So it will also separate from the rest of your craft quite nicely. But then we have the smaller 2.5 meter size variety, which, oh, what the heck, we'll build down here. We'll have to take off engines. Fair enough. <laughs> Just pop that in there so that we can, you know, build a smaller version of the Saturn V in just the uh, 2.5 size meter category. And if we actually go back up to uh, engines here, we can take a look at the mini PEBCAC versions, which rather than having 700 or 1776 kilonewtons of thrust, these only have 240 with an engine ISP of 250 atmosphere or 320 vacuum and 3% gimbling range. Now, of course, it's split up into the center non-gimbling version and the gimbling exterior versions. There we go. Oh, no, need to rotate it twice. Beautiful. Now it fits into all of its nice little slots perfectly. And there we are. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, uh, next we have is actually down here. We were in structural. Got these, very good. Both, of course, even the small one having these solid fuel engines. We then have nothing in coupling, nothing in payload, but in aerodynamics, we do have some fins to go on these. And perfect that I put this down at the bottom, as we have, of course, the full-size aerodynamic stabilizer, which has a lifting surface area of 0.65 that goes right on the exterior here. And notice something fun. If we uh, just have this, you'll see that it just says C right there. But if we actually do the four symmetry and click it all the way around, well, it goes from A here to B there to C there and D there. There is a special script inside of this mod so that it does change the texture so that it has all the properly named fins instead of all of them being exactly identical. And I love that. And then of course we have the smaller miniature versions which only have a lifting surface rating of 0.12, but of course, for, uh, serve the same purpose on the small one. And isn't it wonderful? And that, I do believe, is all of the parts. There we go. Gorgeous. So, what we're going to do is, um, actually, I'm going to pop this thing up here so that I can show off the different, uh, Oh boy, what was it called again? The solid rocket boosters, there it is in these. Now I normally build a craft already that's good to go, but <laughs> I, I forgot to do that today. So we'll just put those into that. And I am, what the heck, gonna put the engines down here so we can see the beautiful engines firing on this one. So we need the center one back in its place. And then the four symmetry, two rotations. Beautiful, and let's go to launch our Pebcac Saturn parts. And yeah, I just love this thing. It's not the whole Saturn V, but you know what? It's the parts that me personally, I care about. And so we have, of course, the first stage down here, which if 
I turn off the UI so we can see my monstrosity that I've built. Beautiful, gorgeous. Look at it in all of its, uh, you know, uh, whatever it is. <laughs> and if we stage once, you'll see the solid rocket boosters down here firing. There we go, just a quick little blast to give it enough energy to move away from the ship after, you know, it's been spent and decoupled. We then have the next stage. Very quick burns. But what is different about the smaller 2.5 meter part is it actually burns a bit more slowly. If we uh, sort of focus on it a bit more hit there and hit stage. So there we go. The other two are literally just like a second burn. That one goes for about two, two and a half-ish seconds or so. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall they'll all do the same thing of helping move it safely away from the rest of your craft. So what we do now is launch the gigantic engines and fire. There we go. This is definitely not the most aerodynamic of rockets that I've ever built, but you know what? Look at that glorious plume. <laughs> Oh, it is, it's, it's wonderful. And with all the fuel that it has, <laughs> oh boy, it's, um, it's gonna go very, very high. So, yeah, so that is really it for the Pepcac Saturn Parts mod. Uh, I would definitely say to go and give it a try, as it's got some lovely little parts that could fit quite nicely into a lot of other part packs to build some very cool-looking crafts. And if you would like to give it a go, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, you do come back for the next episode, when we'll be looking at what is hopefully another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one